Hi, welcome back to Villa Molino Cookery Club. Yes, new website coming soon with the calendar of events. You can come down here, you can watch me cook, you can have lunch, you can drink Prosecco and have a good time here at Villa Molino Cookery Club. Website coming soon. Today, we are gonna make a classic Italian dish. We're gonna make spaghetti carbonara. Now, Carbonara, let me tell you about carbonara. Carbonara, the key ingredients. Uh, egg yolk, look, this one still has a feather on it, look. Uh, how you can't get more fresh than that, look. The egg with a feather on it. So we have egg yolk. We have, uh, now the meat product, classically pancetta or guanciale. Guanciale is the, the cheek of the pork. Now I know all you modern day, modern day chefs, you say, well, carbonara should be made with the guanciale, which is the cheek. But let me tell you one thing. I'll tell you why this discussion came about. Years and years ago, uh, yes, we did make carbonara with guanciale in Italy. We did make carbonara with, we did make a amatriciana with guanciale in Italy because guanciale was the part of the pig that nobody wanted. And it was the cheaper cut. Pancetta, let me tell you, has got more flavor and it was, at that time, more expensive. So the poor people of Italy, like my, my family from Naples, we used to get guanciale because it was the cheaper cut. And that's how it all started. Now you've got these fancy schmancy chefs saying that they've discovered Guanciale. No, you didn't discover Guanciale. My great 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 grandmother discovered Guanciale. And, and it's done an, a, a complete about turn. And Guanciale now is more expensive than pancetta. Same thing happened with the pig's trotter. I used to go with my grandmother to, to the butcher, and the butcher used to give her a bag of pig's feet uh, for the dogs. For the dogs to eat, yes, ladies and gentlemen, because the, the guy was throwing them away. Now you go to a Michelin restaurant, you pay 200 quid, you get a pig's foot. What my, my grandmother's dog was eating. How lucky was that dog, I'm telling you. Because he would never be able to afford the Michelin star restaurant. So anyway, historically, carbonara was with guanciale. The better product with the more flavor, Pancetta fumicato, smoked pancetta. So we're gonna start, I'll give you the measurements. We cut the pancetta into thin rashes like this, and then we slice as fine as you can. Little matchsticks or toothpicks, whatever you wanna call it. Are you watching, ladies and gentlemen? Matchsticks or toothpicks. Now, what you have to do, you have to slowly poach this in a dry pan. You wanna get all the fat from the from the um, pancetta. So we're gonna cut super fine and you want a low heat. You want a low heat, watch this. This is where it's good to have a nice sharp knife. So cut it into little mastics. Where am I, where am I? Right, turn that up. You see, little mastics like that. Now, I'm gonna put the water on. Here's the water, here's the pasta. When you're making carbonara, you need 100 grams per portion, not 125, because it's a very rich pasta. 125 grams of pasta is too much. So I'm gonna slow this down. I'm gonna simmer it. A little bit of olive oil to help. Yes, you can use olive oil because you're cooking it at a very low temperature and you're bringing all the flavors together. That's gonna simmer and you want all the fat to, the, the fat to render out and you want a nice crispy pancetta. Back in a minute, when this is done, we're gonna make the pasta super fast. Back in a minute. Right, so part two, what we've done is, I put the pasta in the water because it's nearly ready. The, the carbonara is gonna be so quick. So you need to do the pasta, save some time. Keep stirring the pasta to get the starch out of the pasta. Right, we've, we've um, sauteed the um, pancetta. Look, it's all nice and crispy. There's a bit of fat in the pan. We're gonna take some out for decoration. Right, we're gonna put the rest in here. Right now, we've got a pan. It's not on the heat, it's just warm. We're gonna put the egg in. We're gonna put the egg in. I'll tell you how many eggs. I've got four, 
four yolks here. I'm not yoking. And we've got here, we've got uh, Parmesan cheese, we've got Pecorino. Some people say Carbonara's with Parmigiano. Some people say it's with Pecorino. So to avoid any doubt, I use half and half. All right, so now we've got the yolk. We've got the yolk here. We've got the black pepper, lots and lots of black pepper. I'm not yoking. Right. Right now, this is this is kind of cooled down a bit. So we got the yolk, the black pepper. We put the pancetta with the uh, the fat from the pancetta. Now, if you want a really rich, a really rich pancetta, you put all the fat in. If you want them uh, not not so rich, take leave some out. So we've got some crispy pancetta for garnish, and this is the pan not on the heat. Not on the heat. So we're emulsifying the fat from the pancetta and the fat from the egg. Now, the pasta's nearly ready, but we're not finished yet, ladies and gentlemen. We're not finished yet. We want, we want a little bit of water from the pasta. We work that, we work it into the, into the egg. Like you're making a Caesar salad. Work it into the egg. The water, pasta water into the egg. Look at that. Look. It's coming. It's coming, baby. Work it. Don't forget you've got pancetta. Don't forget you've got pecorino here. Lovely, lovely. Look at that. That's the pasta water with the, with the pancetta and the oil and black pepper. Carbonara likes black pepper. Forget the salt, we don't need it, just put the salt in the water. Right, so you got the starch, let's see the pasta. Woo. Right, I'm just going to put this on number one. Number one, <clears throat> just to warm that through, when you serve carbonara, here's a tip, always keep, make the plate warm. That's what you want, you want a warm plate. Put the plate in the oven. Right, here we go, take the pasta out. Take the pasta out. Keep the water in case you need to adjust. It's coming, it's coming. Right, turn that off. Right, so now we need to work the pasta. This is 200 grams, two portions. We need to work it into the egg. And now it's gonna suck it all up. Oh, I can smell it. Right. Look at that, look at that. It's coming, emulsification. It's coming. You can put the, on top of that, to, so the steam, the steam will, will keep the, the pasta warm. Now, we do a little bit of tasting. Mm. Just a little hint of pecorino, a little hint of parmigiano. Not too much. Let me tell you a trick. If you put the parmigiano and the pecorino in and it gets too thick, look at that. Woo! Look, nice, not thick, not stodgy, not cement. Look how liquid it is. That's carbonara. If it gets too thick, take a bit of Pasta water, stick it in, look at that. Look, nice liquid, not too thick. It's not cement, you're not building a house. Here we go. That's it, carbonara done. You don't want that sauce to bubble. As soon as it bubbles, you're, you're fuck would You don't want to do that. Lovely. Carbonara, this is two portions. Let's see if we can do fancy schmancy design. Like they do in the Michelin star. Michelin star restaurants. Fancy schmancy. Woo! Yes, baby. Look at that. Carbonara, fancy schmancy. Yeah. Put some sauce. Put some sauce. Nice liquid, look. That's what you want. You don't want thick. Then, 
you put some uh, crispy bacon on top, crispy pancetta. Michelin star accomplished. Fantastic. F look at that. Look at that. Carbonara. I'm gonna take a close up, then I'm gonna put some, you can put some parmesan, you can put some pecorino, I'm gonna take some pictures. Back in the See you next time. Carbonara, the best in the world. Ciao.